above ground agriculture has existed since the dawn of time. One of the most illustrious and ancient examples is the hanging gardens of Babylon. The culture we know today is born in the 19th century in Germany. What is it and what are its characteristics? In soilless agriculture, we no longer speak of soil, but substrate which can be organic or chemical. The best substrate of the world is coconut fibers, 100% organic, neutral and inert. You'll only see what you have planted. You'll never see weeds. The particularity of this form of agriculture is that it can be practiced anywhere. All you need is some space with or without greenhouse. This substrate is extracted from mesocarp of coconut. When we say without soil, it's for that. There is many types of fertilizer. We have fertilizers specially made to obtain products of a certain order. But we can also use organic fertilizers to reach products 100% ecological soilless. It's a precision agriculture, so we use suitable materials. Precision materials. I have here one sprayer of a liter and a half that we use to water three nurseries. We don't use ordinary watering can. For the plant in sachet, I have a drip watering system through drippers. Here, it's a dripper of four liters per hour. But we have to control the flux thanks to the traps and I can plant any type of gathering seed I want. The soilless agriculture is very interesting. It's come to save people who already planted in the soil because they aren't annoyed by the parasites and insects. So, we hardly use pesticides. In soilless agriculture, at the least, I have a yield which can be 3 to 11 times the yield of soil. Concretely, one tomato plant can yield 3 to 6 kilos. This new concept aims to break all records in terms of quality and quantity. To practice this form of culture requires a good preparation. The investment for a space like mine is about 5 or 6 millions. Profitably by season, it's trivially 2 millions. In 3 seasons, you will amortize what you invest. There is no risk. Just follow the advice of his technician and I'm sure you can achieve your goals. I'm a biologist. I did the training at the university. I did the laboratory, the biomedical analysis. It's a fascinating job because you go into the secret of people to try to detect diseases. I did that for a number of years. I practiced. But it must be said that everything that is agriculture, all that is gardening, that interested me. So when I saw the message, I told myself that I'm no longer in the village. I'm in the town and I see something that really fits the city and you have to get to know more. And that's how I followed the training. And when I followed the training, I told myself that we must go from theory to practice. We must take action at the same time. So I took the kit and started. That's it. Slowly but surely, the culture except soil is spread on the national territory. More than a solution, 
Against the scarcity of arable land, it remains the most suitable crop form for urban areas. Combining quality and quantity, above-ground agriculture is practiced with little space for dense productivity.